The elf owl is the smallest owl in the world, and perhaps the most abundant raptor in upland deserts of Arizona and Sonora, Mexico. Although popularly associated with saguaro cacti and desert vegetation, denser and more stable populations of this species inhabit subtropical thorn woodland, montane evergreen woodland, and riparian forest. Elf owls also live in partly urbanized habitats. The species nests in old woodpecker holes in trees, columnar cacti, agave and yucca flowering stalks, fence posts, utility poles, and bird boxes from river valleys and desert washes to nearly 2,000 meters in mountain canyons. It is strictly nocturnal and mostly insectivorous, but occasionally eats small reptiles and mammals. Most elf owls breed in three populations in the United States Mexican borderlands and winter in southern Mexico. Three other disjunct populations in southern Baja California and Puebla, Mexico are non migratory. Nesting pairs are especially vocal during April to June. Males give high-pitched, puppy-dog-like yips, unique among North American owls. In the cavity-rich riparian forests of mountain canyons, pairs are often interspersed among screech owls and pygmy owls in avian cavity-nesting guilds of up to 16 species. Elf owls may nest coincidentally in the same trees and cacti as other avian cavity users. They vigorously defend nests and cooperatively mob intruders and predators such as snakes, larger owls, and ringtails. Okay, Tommy DeBard Laban, our guide. We got the coyotes singing here already, and we're ready to go off on our owling adventure. Okay, we're here in near Mesa, Arizona, with Tommy DeBard Laban, our owl guide. And Tommy, you've done this a bit out here, right? Yep, it's one of my favorite places to owl. We got western screech owls and elf owls out here, and if you're lucky, sometimes we'll get barn owls flying over, or maybe even a great horned owl sitting on top of a saguaro cactus. But that that takes a little bit more luck. But the elf owls and the western screech owls are very common out here. So we have a good chance of seeing them tonight. Yes, we do. Great, excellent chance. Okay, let's go. I love the coyotes. Although we were careful not to continually shine our lights on the elf owl that we just saw in the hole of the saguaro cactus, that particular elf owl did not leave its nest. So we sought elf owls in other places in this area. Here he is. Right here. You guys see him?
is taken real slow. There's another one. Where is it? The other one is back a little further. This is the other one. Yes. I hear two Western screech dolls now, too. Horses are one of many feral horses that have that are established in, in the area. Note that we saw a total of six elf owls this evening. We minimized the amount of time that we spent with any one of them to just a couple of minutes so as not to disturb them too much. Did you guys see them that time? Light a little better out of there. As Tommy had suggested was likely, we encountered a western screech owl. So let's consider a little bit about the biology of this species. A short series of high toots accelerating through the night announces the presence of a western screech owl. These compact owls not much taller than a standard pair of binoculars, hunt in woods and deserts of western North America, where their wide-ranging diet includes everything from worms and crayfish to rats and bats. <laughs> 